or best of one. Let's try not to play like shit this time. Um, here we go. Oh God, don't tempt me. Okay. This card is fun. I'm not gonna pick it here, but it's fun. This card is the best card in the pack. I'm gonna take it even though it's gold. It's very difficult to get into the clerics deck. Um, the safe pick is probably Shepherd or or this. Because this card is fine. If you can get an Azorius party deck going, this card just slaps, right? Um, Fastwood Fortification's good. Geyser Mage is fine. This thing's powerful in the right deck. But you try not to be in green black. Um, this card's good. So it's just a, a kind of a mediocre pack. I don't have any, you know, premier removal, no Roost of Drakes, nothing like that. We just have one potential good card, and we're going to go for it because why the fuck not? All right, and we're going to follow that up with another one that fits in that deck over nothing. I could have taken Florahedron here and been. Not furious, but um, that's the only other card that I would like to second pick. But Sign of the Swarm is good. Works with our first pick, so let's take it. It's another signpost uncommon. This pack sucks. I could take this to try to stick on theme, but there's two good green cards here, and I think I want one of them. There's also Skyclave Geopede, which is very, very strong in the right deck, of course. So it looks like... They're trying to push us into landfall, which is typical. That's kind of how the set works. You're looking to get into the tribal deck, and then if you can't, you take the landfall cards. I'm not about to third pick a far side of depth, though. We'll keep ourselves a little bit open. All right, I will fourth pick a Vanquish League over Scythe Cat, which is better. Um, there's an Arbor Mage here. I've never gotten this card to really work. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Um, yeah. It's between Scythe Cat and Vanquish. We're going to take Vanquish uh, and hope that this works out. Now I can take a Blood Priest here. Gomafata Vanguard's good. Love having a one of Broken Wings in any green deck. I think this card is 100% main deckable. The games in which it's a dead card are far less than the games in which it saves you. Right, from a relic vial or a relic amulet or a roost of drakes or a massive flyer that you can't deal with. Um, so I think it's a very good card. But I'll take the blood priest. It looks like clerics is shut down. Um, we're not seeing any white. Oop. Take vanquish here again over shadow cat. Shadow cat is interesting with cleric and scion, but. It's still clunky, and you don't want to be sacking these creatures anyway, so yeah, it's uh, not a thing. Oh, now we have Black Loom Rogue and Core Celebrant. That's really, sh of course, right? Fuck. Um, Core Celebrant is probably more important to the deck. Black Loom Rogue is a more powerful card. Um, I think I'm going to take the Celebrant here, and that really sucks. Am I? Yeah, I'm probably going to take it. Take a Blood Beckoning over Tazim Raptor here. If I would have taken Black Bloom Rogue last pick, I probably would have picked up the Tazim Raptor. Um, still might be incorrect. But I think I'm going to take Blood Beckoning. There is definitely a world in which I am not playing white cards. So I should have thought about that before I picked the Core Celebrant here. Yeah, like, look at this shit. No one. Zero people are in green. This is actual zero. Um, okay, this thing wheeled. That's fine. It was the only white. We were going to pick that over Kelney Ambush. So seeing that wheel's good. Shit. That makes me think I should have picked the... Um, 
whatever the fuck it's called, the Black Bloom Rogue over this. So, Scion, Cleric, both work well. Everything works well so far. Hopefully we can... I don't think we passed too many signals to our left that Clerics were open or black. We have one black bloom rogue that we passed to our left. I don't think we've really had any white cards we passed to our left that, that I can remember. So hopefully pack two... Uh, treats us well. We can get a Relic Vial, another Cleric, something, um, and make this deck work. Okay, this is a pretty easy inscription here over Gloom Hunter. Um, this card's good. It uh, Mind Rots early game, or it gets back our Cleric of Life's Bond and kills our 3-drop, or whatever we want. Uh, I would play, I would definitely hope this wheels. I don't think it will. We might wheel Sky Dancer. Or practice tactics, maybe. I think there was a world in which we went green, red, landfall too. It's a cool warrior here, a great MDFC. This is the weakest of the three inscriptions, though, by far. By far, it's the weakest. Um, there's like inscription of abundance, which is like S tier, kind of broken rare. Then there's a gap, and then the blue one, which I think is like A tier, amazing card. Just very difficult to kick because it's 8 mana. Then there's a huge gap, and then this one. Of course, it's a Relic Amulet, not a Relic Vial, because we could have used a Relic Vial. Um, I guess I just pick this thing. I just pick the land. I don't fucking know. There's nothing in here we'd play. Someone took an Uncommon out of here. This is uh, our pack two. Pretty normal for us to get shit on by the draft. Um, yep. This is uh, getting what well, getting shit on looks like. Let me move these down. All right. So Journey and Deadly Alliance are both in this pack. I'm going to take the Journey here. They're basically the same card. This one, obviously, your opponent could have Feed the Swarm and kill it, but it can get rid of Roost of Drakes or, you know, some of the problem artifacts, relics in this format. So it's a little bit more versatile. Uh, I wish I could take both. Why couldn't one of these have been in the last pack? I don't know. Relic Vile, that's what we're looking for. All right, now we have each of the signposts uncommon. Well, we don't have attended healer, so we're missing one of the signposts uncommons, but we have this is a third in clerics. We just need, like, actual clerics now. Uh, <laughs> uh, we need, like, more core celebrants and blight priests and expedition healers and shit. But, uh, good card. I would play four of these other cards on the pack, but we're going to take Relic Vile. Easy. Take another Scion of the Swarm here over the Expedition Healer. Um, we have three ways now to gain life a lot. So now I'm going to take Thwart the Grave. Taking it over Blight Priest feels bad, but Thwart the Grave is just incredibly powerful. So, and it works well with Relic Vile and shit. So, um,. Yeah, we're going to do that. And Core Celebrant and Cleric of Life Spawn. So you bring back your creatures that you traded off. Like Blood Priest. Then they trigger all life gain and EDB effects and all that shit. Good time for us off. Thundering Rebuke, pick seven. Pick eight. I'm going to take Pack Beast over Practice Tactics here. Let me look at my... Uh, so I have one wizard, one warrior, and then the clerics. I only have two vanquish and one journey as removal, but I think pack beast is too important. Gloom Hunter did wield. That's really, really good for us. None of these cards, cards really matter. Um, I could just... No, I'm not. Okay. Felidar. Hmm. It's interesting. So what parties matter cards do I have? 
Is it just Journey? Oh, what the hell? Okay, well, I guess uh, I guess they took Felidar. Um, I probably was going to anyway. But there's the Roost of Drakes. All right, we're going to take Relic. Um, overfeed the Swarm here. I wish I could take this Feed the Swarm. Oh, God. I really, really need one of these. Or two. But not over a Relic Vial and a Clerics deck. This is our fourth Signpost Uncommon in this deck. I think Clerics really need five Signpost Uncommons to... To do the thing um, because they're incredibly dependent on getting those uncommons in play. We also have a zero Blight Priest and one Core Celebrant, so the deck is not good. We need a lot of help this pack. So we're going to lead off with a Relic File, and then we're going to take Luminarch Aspirant. This card is bonkers. This is bananas, and we're going to take it. Maybe we wheel this in a perfect world, but we should wheel one of these black cards, I hope. Oh, Expedition Healer would be Nice, but I don't think we're getting it back. Okay, uh, nothing over uh, Nahiri's Binding. No cards in the pack for us. Great cards in uh, in blue, red, and green. Just, or I wouldn't call this a great card, but bam, bam, bam. Very good, very good. So, but we'll take Nahiri's Binding. I'm going to take Core Celebrant over Gloom Hunter. Maybe I wheel one of these, doubt it. But maybe. But uh, of course, Silver's too important. Unfortunately, I don't have any Blight Priests until this pick. Now I'm going to take one. I need one more of these, I think, to be happy. And then uh, an attended healer <laughs> to make my fucking day. Really nothing here. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Um, take this thing. Now I can take a feed this one. That's really good. Malakir Blood Priest. Sure. So we didn't get how many creatures? Sixteen. All right. We didn't get uh, any attended healers. We didn't get that fifth signpost uncommon. We didn't get a second Blight Priest, which means the deck's not great. Um, but it's not terrible. We do have a very good card here that can potentially do a thing. We have an okay removal package. Not great. Palaka Predation or Expedition Healer. Clearly going to take that Expedition Healer. Uh, we only have one MDFC. Not great. Would like to have gotten two or three, but I'm not going to take a Palak Predation over a card that's very important to the deck. Does Kite Sail do anything? I mean, none of these cards do anything. But... <clears throat> About cutting shit here. Froiling Regrowth, 12th pick. Must be nice. Silencer. I might play that. Me to 15 creatures. We have one, two. Oh, mana hungry am I? Not very. I do have the two relic funnels, though. And a, a kicked inscription of ruin, Eladar. Um, well, well, this can be a cut. I do have Thwart the Grave, so I could probably get rid of Blood Beckoning here. That's 17, 18 land. I could cut a land. I could cut a land. I don't know what else I would cut. Because I can't cut creatures, and I don't want to cut any of these spells. I guess I could cut a Vanquish the Week, because Inscription of Ruin kind of does the same thing, but I'm low on removal. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, sort of. So these were all very conditional. <laughs> <clears throat> so and I have 15 creatures can't cut those so it looks like I have to cut one vanquish the week and one land here and we're mostly black so um, I still think I cut this so that gives me nine and nine sources 
Okay, um, deck is not amazing, but it's serviceable. Uh, the only thing we have to do is play well, which is really not not what I do. Uh, I've been playing so poorly lately. Making bad decisions. I've been overplaying, I think, um, in some instances, and then just being brain dead in others. So it's just not playing well. You know, I think today I tried overthinking a situation and lost a game for it. Yesterday I wasn't thinking and lost a game for it. So. We shall see. Okay, so we get mana fucked out of the gate. Uh, I still think I keep one land and I can play this. I have a Relic Vile, Blight Priest, Core Celebrant all in my hand. So those are good. Um, I am on the draw, primed to get mana fucked here. Um, the debate was whether I cut a Plains or a Swamp, and I cut a Swamp to give me nine sources of each. You know. Yeah, so we'll get mana fucked. Fucked here. <clears throat> sure. Oh my god, we drew out of it. I'm sure he's got removal, but I th still think that's a good trade. We have two different ways to get that back out of the yard. Maybe I should have waited till next turn so I could play Relic Vile, but I think I want to play Blood Priest. No, that seems like a mistake. So we'll play Relic Vile here, and then we'll play Blood Priest. And I I'll take four. I don't care about that, but... Or I could swing, but that doesn't make sense to me either. Where's my fucking scion of the swarm? Yep. So now it's a good time for a thwart the grave. Oh, okay. So I guess we're getting flooded this game. Okay, so that's the strat for our opponent. Uh, for, for God. Um, yep, not attacking. Subtle strike? Okay. So he has an instant for two mana. So I think it's subtle strike. Could be, I mean, there's a lot of things it could be. Let's keep drawing. Oh, that's, that's a pretty good draw. Now I think, do I start maybe end of their turn? I can uh, do something, I don't know. Oh, that's a good vanquish target, I think. So they do have subtle strike in their hand though. So maybe it's it's a mistake. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't care, no blocks. Um, yeah, so this, Confirms our line here. Uh, do I trade Vanquish for Subtle Strike? That seems dumb. That seems good. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think they were dead yet, but... I didn't think they were dead. 
We were just chilling. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to play this as a swamp. Another white-black deck. Second one in a row. Of course, Elrond's probably fucking dead meat here, but... Yep. We do have the thwart. If we draw land. Nope. We're just going to draw five drops, I guess. Yep. So, so, last game we got a little flooded. This game we're going to get fucked. Oh, of course. At least I can get rid of that. That was fucking lucky. no fucking land so yep we were absolutely 100% correct when we said we were going to get fucked um I think I forced the removal out of their hand right oh well they didn't have subtle strike um 100% correct in saying that we were about to get fucked. I can vanquish that when he swings. Of course. What a great draw. What a great draw, man. You got me, bro. No blocks. Oh, he drew a land! You're fucking shitting me, dude. Um, I think I'm just going to vanquish now the Blight Priest. If you draw a land, they probably just play Felidar and then um, land. Yeah, so Felidar, I don't think I. I it's, Cyan doesn't grow or anything, so it doesn't matter. So I could do that, and make it a 4 5, or I could try to get in. I'm at 9, so I think I have to do this, right? Just try to stop Farsight Adept. I have all these ways to gain life, I just haven't drawn any. I guess, I mean, I'll, I'll gladly trade something here. I'm assuming something's gonna die, then I can thwart. Okay. Okay. Obviously, the perfect card. with the team. 
So it doesn't make it doesn't make sense, I don't think. So that's six mana. So I can binding here. Blight Priest. And make a four four. No attack. I should have made that a 4-3. That was dumb. Because if he draws land, yeah. I, like, I knew he had, like, the perfect cards, so... I knew he had the perfect cards. Mm -hmm. and now I can trade for Jerboa, though. And that might be the only way I get back into this. Alright. Okay, so, what do I do? Core Celebrant, obviously. And then... Luminarch Aspirant, or, or do I want that fucking, no, no, the Blight Priest isn't going to do it. So now I'll top deck removal. Uh, just creatures every turn. Yep, and we just keep your own land. So, yep. So, I think I want that to be a 3 3. Top decks removal now, right? Oh, wow. Okay, so we do this. This is an easy turn. This way I can make it a 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. four, four, I'd still swing into that, I think. Oh, yes, baby. We, uh, that was quite a comeback. We <laughs> Alright, so we need to survive this turn. So this is an easy block. That's double strike, so we're going to put this in front here. That goes there, and then I'll trade off the links. I don't care about uh, this anymore. Okay. That was that was lucky. That was lucky. Um, our opponent drew very very well, uh, but we we were able to claw our way back. We were at literally one life. Oof, duh. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep that. Okay. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm assuming this is just going to get rabbit bitten, but what can you do? Okay. 
Oh, okay. That's fine. Our opponent has rabbit bites and shit. We want to diversify. Big time. Thanks. Um, next turn we'll play Blight Priest. And then we'll... Pro I don't know. If we don't draw land next turn... Okay. So we're playing Blight Priest. Of course. Alright. Now he has it. Uh, yeah. Shit. I, there's no other decision to make there. He just had it. In his blue-green deck, he's just main decking anti-cognition. So if we draw a land next turn, we can double spell. But I, I would start here, I think. Oh, Relic File's nice, but... So now we're going to do this. Hope we draw a land so we can double spell. So we want to tap like this. And that card I don't mind attacking with. Of course not. Of course not. Sure. Let's make that and do what? Let's make this into a 4 4, I guess. Still going forward with the Scion or the Swarm plan here. And then I do. Um okay, well put one. Um, could have like if he has Might of Mirasa, that's bad for me. He doesn't have another wizard. I don't care about this adept. But I can thwart the grave, get back Blight Priest and Scion next turn if they kill this. So, and then I can Relic Vile if they have Bubble Snare. So I think I have options here. Oh, Davy. If they don't do anything, I'll play Malakir Blood Priest and I'll play Relic Vile next turn. Could have Rel or uh, into the Royal. So I think I'll put the counter on the Adept next turn. I think he wants to kick Bubble Snare at it. Hey, V. Dave. Oh, my cat. Dave, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. So 7-7 seven, seven should be enough to force his hand, right? I'll just do this anyway. Okay. 
Okay, that's not going to do it, bud. So you're not blocking with Diviner. So don't know what you got here. Bubble Snare. Okay. So we're going to do this. And then we... Combat. What do I do? I could do that and trade. I could buff this and just get in there. Might be better. I think we want a Relic Vial this turn. Then I get back Scion and Blight Priest with Thwart the Grave. Okay, doesn't do it. You know, swing for two? Come at me. Does have a wizard now. Do I want to swing first? So if I put the counter, I can just swing for three here. No, no. Then we can like block, block. All right. So I think I start here. So, <laughs> uh, he has three blockers. I have uh, four attackers. He has one mana. So if he has Chilling Trap, I could conceivably lose this game. I don't think I will. So let's do this. And if he wants to trade or eat something, he would die. Davey. Hi, Dave. He's a good boy. That's a good boy. <clears throat> yeah. Because he loses two from Blight Priest. And the creature die. Because we gain one, Blight Priest deals him one. Three and all. Again, it's not the perfect um, cleric stack because we didn't get a tended healer, um, and we didn't get a second blight priest. We're playing some cards like Prowling Felidar, which you wouldn't put in a in a cleric stack. Seagate Banner, but it is. I think it's a good one, a decent one. Uh, it can do some things. We have five signed post uncommons, which I think is the where you need to be. We don't have enough MDFCs. We want two to three in any deck. Right, so this card's coming down on two. That's really good. Then we play Celebrant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So he needs to feed the swarm this, I think. He Well, he's got to kill it. Dave. You stink. So let's play, do we play pack? No, we don't play pack based here. Not day. Like a boy. Or celebrants. All right, so this is the, th out of, out of the 
three deck, four decks we've played. No, this is our fourth game. We've played three other Black White Clerics decks. So what do I do? I could play, I could Vanquish it and swing for four. I could Relic Vile. It's more mana efficient just to Vanquish this, and I don't want that card around, I don't think. Um, of course, Elbert presents too many problems. The Black White Clear deck. So now he kills something, right? No. Okay, that's pretty fucking good. Now he's got to kill that Scion this turn. He has to. He fucking has to. So the Scion has to go. But that should... Okay, it's binding. So then he'll tap out. So that's fine. And I have Relic Vial to follow it up. This is gross. Alright. Yes, just swing. Yeah. I thought there was a, a non-zero chance he chumps there. Um, and th in which case we would have gotten extra point of damage. Here. I don't know how we lose this game. I don't know. Because we're going to start drawing cards and shit. I guess we could just flood out. Dave? Okay. Don't think that's going to save him. Because now he's tapped, right? Yeah, do this. We'll make a 6-6. Six, six. So this is lethal. Let's draw a card. Um, Dave? I guess we just put it as this one. So... He has to block this, and then he can eat there. Or I can swing here. He can double block, but then he dies. So let's just swing, swing. I think we sack this first. That's a pretty good draw. So let's do this and swing with the team. Dave, don't be a jerk. All right. That was brutal. That was a brutal game. Four and oh. All right. So this is where things tend to fall apart. Um, we haven't had a lot of decisions to make, I don't think. Um, we did have one very close game where we were down to one life. But the deck's been pretty dominating. It's drawn well. Uh, I think we've been flooded once and fucked on mana once. But we were able to get out of it. Um, yeah, but once you start getting past four wins, the decks you play against are, are get progressively more and more insane. And this is not a good hand. This is the first time we've seen this card. But this is not a good hand. Uh, we can, we're going to keep it. We have Core Celebrant, Nahiri's Binding that we can't cast. We have this thing and a way to draw some cards. Um, but this is not great. This is, uh, this is a bad hand for us. See if we play another black white cleric stack. Oh boy. 
Yep, no two drops. No nothing. Oh, okay. White, red. And then, oh, it looks like we're just going to get flooded this game. Okay. Okay. Confirmed. The flood is confirmed. No three drop. Hmm. I think we want the celebrant to play. Then what? He goes to remove this. I'm going to block. I can return it, right? No. I can't. Never mind. Skyclave Apparition. All right. Can't double spell. I could mind rot him. I think I'm going to wait on that. We'll give him an extra card so he can play uh, some shit, I guess. Um, I can never get that Celebrant back. That's really shitty. Yep, he is going for it. Okay. We can double spell this turn, which I'm going to do. So we're going to do this. And then I think we're going to Mind Rot the last two cards away. Uh, yep. Opponent discards too. Yeah, he has some good ones. All right. Yep. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, you're going in, bud. You got me. Now we can ban a rat. And we can't... Uh... No, we can't. Thwart. But uh, we can block this and then thwart, maybe. Maybe I should have just played Zoth there. I don't think I want to... Binding anything, do I? No. We're fine. We're gonna take some damage here, but that's fine. He's drawing lands. Oh, he's not even attacking. Oh, well, I guess he couldn't. Is this where we take over? Because I could have buffed. Yeah. I wasn't even. Oh, okay, so yeah. We are still getting flooded. That's a given. Um, so if I swing with, I think I just swing with this, right? Might as well. And I might as well do this. I'm trying to get a creature killed. Okay, that's a good binding target. That's a good relic vial. Now I think we're in business. Alright, more fucking land. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess we just do it then, huh? Could play healer and thwarts. Probably good. Um, sure. Draw. We have eight land, so I mean, this does present issues, but. Oh, the Blight Priest. Okay. Now we're pretty wide. We can cast Blight Priest and Pump. Don't care about that. And he's attacking? That's gotta be good for me. More fucking land, alright. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna swing out that turn and pump. Five and zero. Oh. Uh, impressed. Opponent. Uh, they had 
They had a very aggressive, good draw. The Mind Rot won us the game. It was a game win by Mind Rot. Wasn't going to beat Attended Healer into Shepherd of Heroes. Um, I didn't have a way to kill the, the either of those cards, so you could have just given it Life Link over and over. Kept making one ones. On the draw, I'm, I'm going to keep this. It's not not a good hand, but no mana. We do have one two drop, but it's very weak. We have this, which is six mana in our current hand. We can't cast these spells, and they don't do it. This one doesn't do anything without a cleric. Um, yeah, but okay, we drew land. Need we need a lot to make this hand work. It was probably not smart to. Uh, to keep it because we needed land two drops three drops you can't draw all of those in one draw step sure. So I'm going to feed that, I think. No, no, I want a binding that, right? Yeah. So I want a binding that, not feed it. Next turn, we can Relic Vial and hold up a sack. I'm sure that's dead, yeah. I'm sure. But we still um, can do a couple things. Hopefully we draw something else to do. Why would we though? Honestly, I don't care if he spends mana on this. That wastes his turn. Gives me time. I will probably kill it next turn, though, I think. Okay, so there's another play. Now I have to kill that Umara Mystic. So this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, okay. That, that works better. Alright, let's Vanquish. You. And we'll feed you. So now we can kill this, and we don't get any value. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we're fucked now. Now we're just dead. Um, yep, we are just dead now. So now I have to hang back. Um, and chump, and then try to draw a card. If he attacks with the wizard, I'll, I'll trade, I think. But Yeah, we lose. I can't keep up with their card advantage, and all we're drawing is fucking lands, so... We've drawn seven lands in, uh, four, or no, what, we've drawn Relic Vial and Vanquish the Week. We're the only, and, no, we've drawn three spells in four lands. Oh, block, block, block. Yes. Oh, can't win. Cannot win. Um... Oh, wait, cancel. We do it this way. Card. That one. So one spell and we're dead. Next turn, if we live through the turn, we can potentially win, but that's... No, we're not living through this turn. Yep, we're dead. Um, nothing I can do. What a great draw. And we got shitty draws, and our opponent drew perfect, so. Yep, we didn't draw any creatures the entire game.
We didn't draw another shitty hand that we're gonna lose with. So great, let's do it. This is this is how things fall apart for us. If we draw a planes, we can live. If we don't, we die. Oh my god! All right, is this our? This is our sixth match. Is this our fourth? No, this is our seventh match. All right, that was gonna be another, another one. All right, so we're gonna do it like this. And then we'll drain for a little bit. Your boa. Don't care about your boa. Relic file, then I'll swing with the Blood Priest, I guess. <laughs> Turn four. Okay, I thought it was going to be Roost. It didn't swing. That was a great draw. For a land or a blight priest off the top, please. And I'll take it all. We want to swing. I don't give a shit. Shepherd. That'll get journeyed, or do I feed it? I'll probably just feed it. This way I have, um... Mana open for a relic file, which I might do. I might just nug the blood priest here or banneret. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna nug the the blood priest because. We don't get in anymore. Can't draw a fucking land, so... Six... A land. Alright, we have Relic Vial open next turn. We can play Swarm. I could journey to Oblivion and get in there, but I don't think I want to do that. That just opens me up for risk. I think we're fine right now. Can hear he's binding as well, so it looks like the game's going going well. If they get rid of one of the... Oh, you know what they could have? Ondu's Inversion. Ondu's Inversion would fuck me up pretty bad. And they're at six mana. Hmm. So if I Blight Priest, I'd nug them for two. I could swing. No, I can't buff it and swing, though. Um, or that just becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. I think I'm going to swing with Adept here. I could Journey to Oblivion, the Cascade Seer, cast Blight Priest, and get in there. But he have, they have 6 mana open. Let's see what they're going to do. Let's see what they're going to do. And then I'll cast Swarm, Scion, the Swarm. So I gotta get rid of it. Okay. 
What the fuck do they have? Could just be an end of the royal. Could be a counter spell. Jawar disruption. After this, I'm done casting spells. This game. I'm done. Because of onto inversion. Although. Could be rotate. Okay. That's fine. Well, next turn, I know what I gotta do. Light Priest and Journey. Dude, I just don't trust him. Shepherd. Okay, well. That works really bad with, uh... Okay, now I can do both. Now, I have eight power here. Um, I think we just swing with this and then next turn. I can do it. Mm -hmm. I think it triggers each time. So they would lose eight. Oh, spoils. Okay, okay. Horse celebrants a problem. It's a big problem. If I draw a land, no, doesn't do anything for me. All right, so they have seven, eight power on the board. So I am going to swing with Cleric because I can pump it. We have, hold on, that's nine. I think I'll kill squid as well. And, all right, so, did he forget about this? He might have forgotten about it. Shell shield. Okay. Oh, and I can't even fucking... Look at this. What a fucking dumbass thing this is. And now he could have anything. Bubble snare or whatever. Another spoils of adventure. Oh my god. Could have into the royal now. For sure. I still think I'm ahead. I don't know if I'm ahead anymore. Yeah, he's got another one. Could just be regular into the royal, no kick. He's at 17 fucking life. He has all the creatures in the world. Do I ditch a creature? No, I don't think I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure, bud. off. Okay. It's 
So what happens here if I don't journey? I think I need to journey that Banneret over Jerboa. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Works. There's the roost we knew he had. So I and of course it happens the turn after I use Journey to Oblivion, of course. And I've lost my feed the swarm. Of course. Typical. Typical. Mm-hmm. Nope. As we knew. All right, so it's fucked up. So we're gonna swing with our eight eight, right? Five. Yeah, we're gonna swing with the eight eight. Okay. Now, do I cast Scion or Core Celebrant here? I think I have to cast the Scion. Though if we do this, no, no, we have to. We have to try. Probably has into the royal, more roost of drakes, tons of shit. Turn. Oh, that's that's a really sick draw. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Don't think we want to do that yet. Um, I don't think we need to. It doesn't help me get in with anything. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is going to get um, bounced. So, well, I guess it doesn't hurt, right? Then I can just put the counters on, like, a Corsel, or the Blight Priest, I think. Okay. Next. Do I just swing with the team? That's the, the next question. But if they bounce Blight Priest, how fucked am I? Right. I mean, they have... 11 mana open. They have shit to do, right? Oh my god, okay. Let's put the squid at the back of that line then. They definitely have another shell shield here. Now I can zoff them out. Next turn. Right. Well, they didn't make it to next turn. It 
Six and one. Pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, wrap this up. Another shit hand. Um, this one I do have to maul. This one I have to maul. Yep. So this is the second time in a row. Even if we draw a land, I don't I don't know what this hand does. Maybe we have inscription for Mind Rot, Vanquish to survive. I think there's just too much that I need. Alright, so that's fine. Whatever. Blood Priest for two. Well, between the two cards for one. Then we can thwart them back and then drain a couple more. Nope. Yep. Turn to their bomb. And then now we're boned. Now we're actually dead. Now we're actually dead. I don't have a way to deal with that. I guess I can draw top deck Inscription of Ruin, um, Feed the Swarm, or uh, Bankers of the Week, but uh, no. Not going to happen. That will not happen. It just ain't going to fucking happen. We are big time dead. Sweet. No. This is like the fifth Cleric's deck we've played. And of course they got a god draw. And I have no removal. I guess I should have kept. I could have vanquished it. Now I can't even vanquish it. Now I'll probably top deck a vanquish the week. Now I will top deck the vanquish. Pretty sure here. Yeah. I'll top deck the van Oh, we did it. We got a card we can use. Hey. How about that? Now he plays what? The rest of his signpost on comments? Now he plays Relic Vile? And then we're fucked. Oh, attended healer. Yep, we're actual fucked. Now I still have to top deck. <laughs> we're so fucked. Yeah, rare into signpost uncommon. Who knew that was good? If I can kick Gloom Hunter, I'll play it, but I don't think it's not going to do anything on this board. No. So I need to top deck more removal or we're dead. Opponent had a perfect draw. Oh, is it another one? Oh, of course, of course, of course. There we go. Let's swing with something. I'll block. Okay, sick. Come at me. not going to draw the removal so we're fucked like if we were in a, lived in a world in which we could draw removal well that might do something i'm sure he has more removal though ah blight priest yeah we're fucking boned we're so boned oh my god opponent just drew perfect man they just had a perfect draw. Oh shit, we got a Vanquish? Dude. Yo. Then I think I will play this. And then swing. Now if we draw land, we can kick Gloom Hunter and we might be able to get back into this game. Oh, of course. Thwart the grave. Here they come. Should have known. He's got it all. He's got all the fucking cards. Yep, that, of course he does. Now, there is... Feed the Swarm is the only card we can draw to win. That is it. There is literally nothing else we can do. 
at all. Um, he has one black mana, okay? So I'll eat that, and I'll eat this. Five, and then I'm dead next turn. Hmm. Does that change anything? Maybe. Maybe. So, I'm at six. He 99% chance he has removal in his hand. I'm not going to win this turn by swinging. Um, I think I have to hang back. Next turn, I can swing with Gloom Hunter if he doesn't have removal, which we know he does. Okay, that's really good. Do I do this first? No. I swing first. Let's see what they do. Can I swing with this now? I don't think I can yet. Well, yeah, let's try it. Wow. Oh, he has another thwart or another um, uh, blood beckoning. He has either thwart or blood beckoning. Luminar Gasprint? Should have done that before. Um, I might have to actually block with that. We knew it. We knew they had it. We knew they had it, and now they get to pick up their McKinney Stampede, and then we die. Yep, we knew they had it. We knew it. We knew they had the perfect cards. They always do. Blood beckoning and thwart the grave. And we draw fucking land. Um. Yep, we're fucking dead. So, what does that do? Yeah, we, we're just going to draw land. Like, we're not going to draw action like this. our opponents draw perfect. We don't, we don't do that here. That's not something that we do. That is not a part of our MO. Um, if I do that, I still eat that. I can eat one of those. So, no attacks. And then I can pump. So this might not be the absolute blowout that our opponent thinks it's going to be. So they play land because we know they're going to have perfect cards. They play their pack beast. Oh, and here he's binding. Okay. Oh, they're not swinging this turn. Okay, that makes sense. So this allows us to do what? Draw... Inscription of Ruin kicked, I think, is... Nope, that doesn't do anything. And next turn they win. Okay, what does that do? Probably nothing. Mm, now I can still pump. Um, what do I want? I want a 4-4, four, four, right? Here we go. Bring it. No, no, no. Hold on. Uh, I want you there. 
I want you here, you there, you here. I want you, I think I'm 99% sure I'm still dead here. I have those blocked, that's, um, uh, three more blockers that don't do anything, huh? So I wanna try to keep this thing alive. And then I take 15, yep, jump, jump, and I take 12, and then I die from lifelink, right? I think I die from lifelink. Right, it's exactly, I think I take exactsies here. That's 12, I go to 13, and then he gives something lifelink and I die. Yep. For exact lethal. Yep. That's the games we play. That's our opponent's draws. Compare our your our opponent's draw to ours in that game. Relic Vile would have won us the game. We had two in the deck. Our opponent just drew perfectly. Thwart the Grave and Blood Beckoning. Perfect. Perfect draws. A Relic Vile would have won us the game. Would have won us the game. And then they also had a Luminarch Aspirin on turn two. Like, come on. You can't be perfect, man. You can't be perfect. Uh, this looks like a mana fucking draw. This card, I don't think we've seen this card yet. Maybe we've seen it one game. So it looks like we get mana fucked here, but we got to keep it. We have to trust the deck here at this point. We have good cards. So, turn to Luminar Casper could be good. Oh, never mind. It's gonna die. <laughs> it's so dead. All right. Yeah. We gave it the old college try. Okay. So, no reason to wait. And then he can. Kill it this turn, and I need to still draw land. This is really bad. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's kind of a problem for him, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Looks like we'll get mana fucked. So, I was right on that. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. So, I think I want to do this over the Blight Priest, because this allows it to avoid Vanquish the Weak. Next turn, I'll do it on the Blight Priest and over its five threats. Um, of course he's just going to Deadly Alliance or something, right? No, no. Uh, this is the sixth Black-White Clerics deck we've played against. The sixth. So he has three power on the board. So we still have to keep doing it. This means it's getting worse and worse because we're going all in. And we can't draw fucking land. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's main deck Smite the Monstrous. Only us. This only happens to us, of course. It will only and forever happen to us. Only. Obviously, main deck Smite the Monstrous. I'm the idiot. I'm the dumbass. No one main decks that except our opponents when they need it. When they need it. Is he going to pull that Plock a Cavern? That seems dumb. It doesn't seem smart. Oh my god, we top decked! You're fucking with me. You are fucking with me. 
still not worth, I don't think, going in with the, with the healer yet. If I cast it next turn, the other one, maybe I just go in with it and put a couple counters. Th triple core celebrant from our opponents. Okay. Um, so they have one black mana. I'm going to cast another one. And now I think we will. We'll just offer this up. Is worth it. It gets them both out of vanquish range. Yeah, I'm sure they have, you know, removal, but whatever. Um, we can journey to oblivion that this turn. <coughs> Get in there. Then I don't think we need to uh, feed the swarm yet. Let me just start swinging. I could have uh, feed the swarmed the uh, Nahiri's binding. Maybe that would have been better. Okay. Maybe. Oh, now we're going to get flooded. Okay. All right. So if this is a land, we still might lose here. That's actually a pretty good draw. All right. So they have quite a bit of power on the board. I still think... I think I just swing with the Scions now. Hmm. So that's five. Yeah. Yeah, he has he has very good double blocks and or triple blocks and shit on it. Dang. Alright, dang. I think we're still ahead. I think we are. Ah, of course, the perfect cards. The perfect cards! Oh, maybe. Okay, that, that fucking helps. Dave, god damn it. That really fucking helps. Okay, so. What we can do now... So we can sack that Blood Priest, huh? Okay. Do I want to do it now for an extra point of damage? Does that matter? So that takes him to 10, brings my Scion to 5, 6. Both of them would be 6 sixes. Um, then it would go to 7. So wait, wait, 6, he would go to 6. I guess it's not doing anything for me, is it? Oh, Thwart. Thwart is very good here. Hit Luminarch Aspirant and Blood Priest back. That's very good. That's very good. I could um, feed the Swarm. There's still no need yet. I mean, I'm now I'm very much ahead, right? They could Mind Drop me, but even then, I still think I might win. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Here he's binding. All right, perfect. So let's do this. That's eight. Feed the swarm. And here he's binding. And there we go. All right, that's gonna be game. I would have cast. Yeah, I probably would have cast the uh, the Thwart the Grave. I think I'd had him dead on board if I did that. Because um, we bring in Luminarch, Aspirant, and Blood Priest. Drains for two. Drains for two because of this. Um, put a counter on this, make it a 4-3. No, no. I'd probably put a counter on this, actually. And those, yeah. Then he's just, he's just fucking dead. All right. Well, that that's game. Um, we, we took it all the way. That's good.
That was a good deck. Um, not a perfect deck, but a good one. And we drew well. So that's what happens when you draw well.